I want to paint something, but I don't know what to paint. Maybe if I just wave my hand in front of the canvas, it'll tell me what to do. Yeah, that didn't really help, so I'll just start over here and make a squiggle. Every curve needs a straight line to intersect it. That's what they always say, right? Now I really don't know what to draw, so I'll just make some random blobs with the thickest part of the brush. Rorschach style. I want to draw something bulbous with a bunch of curves. It kind of feels like a braid, or a rope, or a loaf of bread. Okay, it's a braid. Let's go back to this hammer thing and give it some dimension, even though we don't know what it is. It's probably pretty thin, like a bicycle tire. And now it reminds me of a shoulder and a neck, so let's put an ear on the end of it. Nosferatu ear. And since I've just drawn so many weird knobbly shapes, let's do a nice clean squiggle for fun. Yeah, that feels good. I'm out of ideas with this orientation, so let's flip it over. This ink blot kind of reminds me of somebody's face in profile, so let's add the rest of the head. More black shapes. And let's flip it again. Gosh, I'm really indecisive today. I don't know which way is up, so I'll just work on this guy's face some more. These shapes remind me of a bed headboard, the kind that they would have in old Disney movies like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. What this room really needs is a ceiling, but that line looks too clean, so I'll just wipe it with my finger. I want to create some deeper space, so I'll put another head in there a bit further from the first face. Maybe another door. I don't know what kind of door this is, but it's kind of giving me a window energy. Now, what this ceiling really needs is a face. Big, stretchy face stretched across the ceiling on a tarp. That makes sense. I forgot to record this part, but I added a gothic castle on a hill. Not a castle, more like a haunted house. So now, with no prior planning at all, this looks like what happens when a ghost is born. You got your dead guy with the umbilical cord coming out of him, and... He's having a little ghost baby, and this two-headed nurse standing in the back is about to cut the cord. Now I just gotta color it.